Well, boys, I had this uh, little video all figured out in my mind I was going to do. I haven't done one in a while. And I thought, that, that's a good plan. Kind of a, a two type of deal mixed into one. End with a little bit of fun. Didn't turn out so good. But I, I'm going to go ahead and run this thing for you because I think the bottom line is is if you don't practice you're going to end up with some ego damage now the title of this thing is was it storm or ego damage <laughs> I think you'll see what I mean here in just a minute when all this other stuff starts rolling just remember we got spring coming up some of you guys digging out of the snow, rest of you like Joe Ledslinger, take their waders off, all that rain. All right, well, here goes. Enjoy the movie. Maybe I can do better uh, later this spring, but couldn't help it. We had a beautiful day today, so by God, get out there and mix it up. Here you go, boys. Look at this, boys. Ain't even a target hanging in there. And this is even worse. I'll fold it up to keep the storm from knocking it over. And then, of course, it gets knocked over and baby girl, she wants to chew it all up. But I'll show you something. Look at this sky. This is our first really nice day. Hope you can see what the hell I'm filming because I got a reflection going here. Anyway, got some things to show you boys. Look at there at the pretty bush growing over there in the pasture. Only thing is, that ain't a pretty bush. I'll show you. Look here, this was a big oak. It was a, I guess you call it a three or four trunk growing out of the the same root ball we had a storm and blew this part over got over the fence a little bit so you can see we've trimmed that all loose so that I can keep these little boogers here rounded up but the problem is the other two pieces were standing, the other two trunks. There's another one way back in there that this one knocked over. So when this trunk fell, fell across my fence line again. But wouldn't you know it, as luck would have it, look at these big limbs here. They stopped it from crushing the wire. All I gotta do is figure out how to Cut this big sucker up without making it fall further on the on the fence and ruining it. What a mess, huh? Up here in the Sierras, I live on a ridge. I'm on kind of the low end of it right now. Up there you can see where the barns are and the houses another 75 or 100 yards further. See that big hole in the right barn? That ain't no wonder it blew all the old plywood off. Man, we got some gusty winds up here. You guys, they always running and having a good time. I'm sure glad of that. Bubby loves that little girl. Well, I guess we'll have to go to work on all this mess, huh? Sure wished I had me a great big grinder. <clears throat> I'd take all the cordwood out of this and grind all that little stuff but I ain't got a grinder so I'll just have to burn it well that's what we got in the east pasture boys mm -hmm. come on baby girl Bubba Well, I think they're ignoring me. Oh, well. Let them run.
<laughs> this goes on all day long. I can't believe Bobby puts up with all that. I sure would like to have a little bit of this energy. It's been so bad, I've had to let my wind chime down. It's been laying here for a couple weeks. Otherwise, it hangs up there between the windows and I just bang the hell out of the house. I'm also afraid this thing falling on my head or something. So I let her down like this in the winter time. I just came in here to get a saw. I want to show you what a mess that's happened this winter. Hell, winter is not even over. It's not supposed to be. Look at this table saw. This is a mess. This is my life. I bet everybody recognizes all this crap laying around here. Oh my lord. So somewhere in here, there's a saw. Oops, look at that mess. I just dumped that out of the back of the truck last week. One of the neighbors had a great big tall pine fall over the mother-in-law's house. I told him he ought to leave it there, but he put the call out and a whole bunch of us church boys come running with our saws. So good thing I brought that rope because it was hard to cut that thing without it raking the house all the way down because it was on the house when we got there. Ah, oh, there's the saw. Hmm. wonder if I really want to use that thing. What are you looking at, baby girl? Well, I guess it's inevitable. I just bought me a new still, so... I guess we're gonna have to reach in here and get that booger out. Hey. Hey, what is this doing in here? Huh, huh, that's where it was. Well, I'll tell you what, here's what we can do. We'll put that back like it was. Do a little. I'll zip it up later. That thing can just sit there. This thing. We probably ought to exercise it before it gets out of shape. Hmm. What do you think, baby girl? This or the saw? She don't care. <laughs> All right. Now that looks a little better with a couple targets hanging in it, don't it? All right. Also put this thing back together. Have I got this little situation going with this? Look here on the bottom. Looks like somebody chewed the fabric right off of it. I wonder who that somebody was. I caught her standing on it. It was all covered in snow. The wind blew it over and then it covered up in snow. I caught baby girl standing right here in the middle of the back of it. Just down that hill. Hey, did you do that? Did, did you chew daddy's backstop? Somebody else did. That's what that look is. Somebody else did that. So, it's going to have to work just the way it is. I still catch most of the rounds down in here. I stand right here, do my little thing. And just because it's half tore up, that don't mean it's going to stop, you know? Oh, well. We'll get this thing going pretty quick. Well, this, this might be embarrassing, but we're going to do it anyway. I already warmed up a bit. You can see on that target camera, I'm wild as a bat today. But I'm going to work with the, the timer here to put the pressure on. The whole thing I'm thinking of all the time is be accurate, be determined. All right, here we go. Oh, hell. That was a 
a good start. <laughs> Cameras, right? Okay, here we go. Cut two. I sure heard those good. Be right back. Kind of missing something here. I thought, boy, those suckers were loud. They were. All right, let's try it again. See if we can get it right. Three fifty. I can hear old James Pollard laughing his ass off. That's all right. Two seventy six. Settle down, son. Two seventy five. Speed don't mean shit if you can't hit. Hey, that rhymes. Two eighteen. I don't think I hit a bull in the butt with a base fiddle that time. Show beats running that chainsaw. He he he. <laughs> Bubby, move out. Hey, Bubba, come on. There you go. Go get in the garage. hit 249 I'm pushing too hard for speed see that I'm not supposed to be doing that I'm supposed to be trying to be accurate that word escapes me ah <sighs> Six. That's that's more like my time there. Three oh six, three fifty, right in through there. Two 
48. Too damn fast. Forty-nine. All right, last mag. Let's do it right. End on a good note. miss on the headshot. 277. Uh oh, that was a miss on the headshot. 277. Alright, do it right. Last last run. Two eighty one. Again. That's called not hitting a bull in the butt with a bass fiddle, basically. He he he. Well, boys, <laughs> it looks pretty bad. I got 10 misses out of 100 rounds. I sure got my work cut out for me this spring. But that's why we practice, ain't it? My whole idea is that if I ever get in a gunfight, then by God, I'm going to stand there and do my best. I'm not going to run because if you run, you're going to get them in the back. If you stand there, and if you're fast enough and accurate enough, maybe you won't catch one in the front, huh? So I'm just going to keep working on it. It still beats the hell out of running that chainsaw today. And I sure as hell ain't going that way. All right, see you later, boys.